What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod truck for under $1,000. And in this video, we finish it. Let's go. My windshield channel came in. Let me see if you can get that on camera. There we go. This actually feeds into your door frame up in here and it holds your glass. It basically stabilizes it as it goes up and down. Bad news is I can't find clear plexiglass anywhere. They have some like two hours away, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste a day driving to get clear plexiglass. This is just gonna be used for a template so I can get glass made, but I wanted to use clear plexiglass so that you could run it if you had to. You know, if, if for some reason shit hit the fan, if you broke a window, you could run the plexiglass just fine for a little bit if you had to, but that's not in the cards. So we're gonna go ahead and just make it out of red plexiglass because they did have this in stock. You can really make it out of wood. Um, I've done these before. Quarter inch plywood works really well, but they have red in stock, so we're gonna run red. We need to make both sides, obviously. Vent windows are their own piece of glass, and then the door glass is its own. So we gotta make four of these. So, let's keep going. I think we got it. Okay. I got a little spot right here. There's a little gap right there. I think there's a rubber molding that goes inside this track, but I'm not sure. If it is, I will just remake this and make it a quarter inch longer right there on the edge, but it's not too bad. The only bad thing is the plexiglass is super thin, so you don't really get a good judge of going up and down because it's so thin it wobbles, which is kind of a bitch, but definitely the right shape. Let's do this vent window now. Bum, bum, bum. Finally got it fit. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't like that there's a gap up here. I believe this rubber, if it wasn't old and cracked, would go there. But if not, I think I can put a weather strip up there. Looks like we're ready for some drag racing, baby. Oh my God, I just hit that. Oops, please don't break your expensives. Looks like we're ready for the drag races. I'm digging it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, oh, by the way, funny story. I had a piece all measured and cut out, that one. And then I'm just, as I was cutting it, I went, I'm an idiot. I have a spare. We had extra windows. These are just, they're shorter at the top, but the body is the same, see? So. I just went ahead and cut one of these out and then basically trimmed the very tip of it off. What we're gonna do now, from measuring, it looks like they're gonna be pretty close. They should work, just flipped around on the other side, but we're gonna double check that just in case they don't. I would love it to just be able to take those two, get four pieces of glass made and be done. Doesn't always work that way, especially with a chop top. We'll go see if we can get lucky and these will work on both sides. Also, I was gonna say, I apologize if the air conditioner is running in any of these videos, it's a lot more quiet than the old heater was, but it still might be annoying. The difference is I hated the heater. I don't like it. It's a pain in the ass. It's loud and interrupted me. The air conditioner I'm in love with, it feels so good. It's so hot. When I'm cold and working, you're usually warm anyway, but when I'm hot, I just, I want cold air. And this thing, this is like ice. It's so nice. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, anyway, I gotta get back to work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, our vent window is the same, but this is actually off a little bit. It's not, that doesn't make sense the way it's sitting. My track doesn't go up as high for some reason on this side, so it's actually too short. Gonna have to make another one of those. Uh, I don't have enough plexiglass to do that, so I'm gonna go get another piece of plexiglass. We'll go ahead and whip this up. I basically just need this exact pattern, just, you know, whatever, half inch taller, essentially. And uh, then we'll take this shit to glass. Oh, 
I think this this air conditioner is the only thing keeping me going. I love it so much. I'm gonna leave my wife in this fucking thing. Also, I think we're gonna start working at midnight again because this day working ain't cutting it. Oh, okay, back to God, it's just so nice. It's like ice cold. I just wish it was ice cold everywhere. Perfect. Left plenty of room for glue in places. Fits good. I need more weather stripping. I'm waiting on that. Or uh, that's called C channel or something. Sweet. We can take these to the glass shop now. Let's go drop them off. Are going. We're getting ready to go drop off our uh, glass templates. And uh, hopefully they can get them back pretty quick. But we'll see what they say. Just dropped them off at Missouri Glass. They had a, uh, a little candy jar there. So naturally... We got a sucker. Only bad thing is, he said he didn't know how long it was going to take. Um, the last time I had him do glass, which has been a while, they gave they called me the next day. So hopefully that happens, but I told him, I said, how long do you think it'll take? He said, I don't know, we're, we're kind of busy. So hopefully it comes soon because if, it, <laughs> if it's like a week thing, uh, it's going to mess up all our videos. Hopefully they get it back pretty quick and we can uh, get them glued in and, and basically finish this build up. This is pretty much all we have to do. We'll do a... Uh, We'll do a big wrap-up video, you know, where we kind of take all the footage in one. Probably be a really long video, but it'll be like a start to finish video. But hopefully we can knock all this out in this video and they don't take forever. So we got them dropped off. Bada bing, it's a week later since I shot that last video, but we got the glass, baby. Let's go install this shit and uh, wrap this build up. Oh, also it was uh, like $110. I, the last time I had flat glass cut, it was 40 bucks. So I figured, you know, ah, that was a couple years ago. It'll probably be double, probably be 80. No. And I think the old lady was trying to charge me 200 bucks. And the guy who runs the glass shop came in and was like, nah, 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 not that much. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. So, but whatever, we gotta go check the budget. I think I'm at, I think I'm at like 875 or 860 maybe. So we're gonna be close at the thousand. So let's see what happens. Check it out. Glass is in, baby. I'm so excited. I had to put the channel in, you know, it's just like a rubber channel. I had to put that in and I was like, oh, I'll just test fit, you know, I'll just do that while it's on time lapse, no big deal. Well, I got it fitting perfect and I don't want to take it back out. So that's it. <laughs> so we are going to, oh no. Wow. I just got the urethane on the hood gonna have to fix that but we're rolling so fuck them we're gonna go ahead and glue in the vent window sweet man we got glass we actually got glass i have to get that off right now so we're gonna pause there's a lot of shit on this side of the shop I'm oh this is gonna suck Let's find lapses, because it's going to take me 20 minutes to get this fucking thing in there. Oh my god. Why does this come out so fast? Here's what we've learned. Um, windshield urethane gets real runny when it's 100 degrees outside. This is the final piece of the puzzle. Dry fit in, it was kind of tight, so hopefully the, uh, the coffee doesn't throw up on tip. <laughs> Alright. We got glass, baby. Bada bing. Got glass in both of them. Check it out. And we're done. This, this build is done, baby. So let's go double check the budget, but I'm pretty sure I did it. Moment of truth. Here it is. Bada bing, we fucking did it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I totally wasn't sure a bunch of the times. <laughs> Ended up with 1832 as spent. The glass at 110 really got me nervous because I always I re-add this up all the time to keep double checking stuff, and I just I haven't sold anything in a while. My dash was my last thing I sold, and that was probably two months ago. But luckily. We had 857 sold. So 974 is where we finished. 
totally built truck, all the glass, all the everything. I mean, it needs nothing else. It's ready to cruise, it's ready to go. We did it, I'm so excited. This is a side pot for people that just kind of wanted to know what tools I used. When I first started this build, I had some guy say, of course you can do that for under a grand. You're gonna use 20,000 in tools. And I said, it doesn't take as many tools as you want. And he replied with, yeah, it does. It takes thousands and thousands of dollars in tools. So went ahead and kept track of those two. Ended up at 447 on tools I used. Nothing, you know, nothing super serious, nothing, whatever. Like if you wanna look at a welder like this, I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $250. This thing is 220. I can weld chassis with this if I need to. It's a great welder. Now, if you want to be the type of guy to say, oh, well, a brand new Miller yada yada welder is three grand. Well, I don't have that. So that's not what I use. This is what I used. So it's totally doable because I bought that for 250. I know for a fact. Cheap grinder, cheap sawzall, just for guys that might want to know. Also to shut people up. <laughs> We did it. It's a badass fucking truck. I mean, every time I've ever had it out, which is only a handful of times so far, I get stopped. People come over, they rush to it. I threw gas in it the other day and I had like three guys come up and they were like, what the fuck is this? So, super excited. I know I just said it, but I'm so excited. Uh, there was a lot of close calls in there. I was gonna be happy and I thought several times I was gonna, I said, it's just gonna end up being like 1500. People are still gonna love it. It's a cool truck, it ended up being 1500. That wasn't the case. We did it. We actually accomplished this crazy goal under a thousand dollars. Like it's so hard to comprehend. It has so many people that are like, bullshit, you're lying. You've, you've changed something. You've cheated something. No, it actually was done. Actually was done right. No freebies, no bullshit. The couple of things that I had laying around, like the grill, I put market value on the grill and charged myself, even though that technically should have been free. I didn't do any of that shit. So super excited. Thank you everybody. Just in case you haven't seen the next YouTube video, we're doing this again with this bad boy right here. 1951 Chevy, two door fastback, which is kind of rare and cool as shit. It's a nice car, but it's not super nice. The floors are completely gone. So it's just begging for a chassis swap. That's gonna be the next build. We're wrapping up this one this week, starting that one next week. So stay tuned for that. I'm making a video on that right now to let me know what, how you want to build that one. Do you want to do another budget build? Do you want to do an unlimited budget build? Do you want to do a time constraint instead of a budget constraint? Like see what we can get done in three months? I don't know. Let me know, but we're going to wrap this up. It's done. It looks bitching. I love you all. Thank you. We did it. Thank you very much for watching. We actually completed this build under $1,000. A weekly video. Haven't missed a week. Um, just showing progress. Sometimes it was just a little bit of progress. Sometimes it was a lot of progress, but weekly video never missed. It's been a lot of fun. It gained a lot of subscribers, gained a lot of fans. Um, you guys have been great. We did a giveaway for this. Buy a sticker, you get entered. And we ended up having so many stickers sold, it blew the website up. <laughs> I mean, it was great. We're going to do this all again with the 1951 Chevy. So please stay tuned. Let me know what you want me to do with that. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you at the end of videos. And check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Love you.